channel. It is Sunday morning, which means it is a full get things done that I haven't done all week. So we got laundry on the go. I'm gonna meal prep now, which I try to meal prep once a week on Sundays. Got a belly full of pancakes now. So we're gonna get some stuff done and then we're gonna chat because today is the first day of letrozole my second cycle of letrozole and we've doubled the dose so that could be interesting but we're gonna meal prep first get some other stuff done and then we'll have a chat with how this turned out. It looks so good. I haven't completely finished the floor because we have this deep freeze that's leaving. <laughs> so and we've got the exercise bike in the corner and there's a fan there. I am so excited to work out in here tomorrow morning. So excited. Um, the floor is just interlocking tiles that I bought from Walmart. Um, I had house, or I had tiles like that in our old house and I had them in there for six years and they were still perfectly fine. So I don't have any worries about these not holding up. Okay, so I thought I would just update you guys a bit on fertility things. So we are officially in letrozole cycle number two. So for those of you who missed it, we had my last cycle we tried the very lowest dose of letrozole to see if that would help us with our infertility. It did not, um, did not at all. Um, so now we're on cycle number two. And with this cycle, my doctor decided to up the dose of letrozole. So we started at the very lowest dose. He has now doubled the dose. So. I was nervous about how I would react to the letrozole with the first cycle because you get this huge pamphlet with like all the side effects that letrozole can potentially cause. And so I was nervous. Um, the only real thing that I noticed was I was a bit fatigued. So, and I was, I'm only on it for five days. So whatever, I was a bit more tired. It's not the end of the world but that was on the lowest dose. Now I'm on a higher dose, double the dose, 
and I'm a little concerned. I did do some research online and a lot of girls said to take it at night just so that like if you do have side effects, you can just sleep through those side effects. That's the theory anyways. Um, I have, the doctor didn't give me any specifics in terms of like, do I need to take it with food? Do I need to take it first thing in the morning? None of that really matters. <clears throat> so it is just before three right now in the afternoon. And I just took it with, I had a bit of a snack and I took it. So I think that's gonna be my game plan is to take it towards the end of the day. So I'm not like, hopefully I can just, if I have fatigue again this cycle, I can sleep through that fatigue. Again, in theory, we'll see if it actually works. So how it's gonna work here, I will be on letrozole for five days. So you take it from cycle day three to cycle day seven. And then um, it's supposed to induce ovulation. And we are supposed to try to conceive on day 10, 12, 14, 16. And then I get blood work on day 21 to test progesterone to make sure that I ovulated because last cycle, day 21, I knew going into my blood test, I did not ovulate yet. So hopefully this time I do ovulate by day 21 and it would be very nice. So this cycle was very convenient. It started on December 1st. So it makes all these, the timing of dates very straightforward. Um, we could potentially be testing to see if we're pregnant on like the first day of the new year, which that's kind of exciting, assuming we would have a good result or it could be a very sour start to the new year, but we're not gonna think about that. So that's kind of the game plan. I guess we'll just see today's day one of taking the pills. Um, we'll see how today, the rest of today, and then the next four days go while I'm actively taking letrozole and kind of go from there. So pray for me that the next four days go relatively uneventful. home from work and today is day two of letrozole in cycle number two of letrozole so I took I don't know if you can hear Sadie barking she likes to act busy when we get home I'm pretty sure she sleeps all day and then when we get home she's like a monster anyways I took the first dose yesterday at like 2 33 o'clock because I've heard that you know, if you're gonna have symptoms or side effects with letrozole, it's better to maybe take it at night and then you can potentially sleep through some of that. And given that my dose is double what it was last cycle, I'm very concerned about side effects. So I took it later yesterday. It is almost 4.30 now and I will have it now. And yeah, hopefully if I do have any side effects, I sleep through them. That being said, this morning I woke up at 3 a.m. No idea if it's letrozole related or just a coincidence, but if it's letrozole related, that's not great. But I mean, I'm only on this for five days, so it's not the end of the world. But if it's going to wake me up basically in the middle of the night like that, and like I woke up and I was like, 
let's go do a marathon. Like my brain was humming. I was like, lights on, let's go. So, <laughs> um, I could be very tired by the end of this week. We will see. I'm gonna take the second dose, go play with my ponies. It is almost dark out, which makes me sad because we still have 20, le a few, less than 20 days until the days start getting longer, but we definitely are running out of daylight. So I'm gonna go play with my ponies, get some chores done and call it a day. Good morning. I'm just getting ready to head off for work. Today is day four of this letrozole cycle and unfortunately, the sleep has gotten worse. So night one, I woke up at 3 a.m. Night two, I woke up at 3 a.m. Night three, which was last night, I woke up at midnight and then like constant intervals until I eventually woke up. <sighs> Not fun. And like, I'm trying to like minimize my coffee intake this is not helping, but this is definitely one of the noted side effects. Like when I told my doctor at the end of last cycle that I had had a little bit of sleep issues, he's like, yeah, that's a side effect along with, I think he said like headaches are another one, which I haven't had so far. But yeah, sleep struggles, not fun. I was like praying the Jesus prayer over and over again, trying to fall back to sleep. I have the app Halo and they have like sleep stories and stuff like that. So I turned on, it was just someone saying Hail Marys over and over again to try and just lull me back to sleep. I, yeah, not fun. So we will be drinking coffee today because I'm already tired. I worked out this morning and I had, I took like half a scoop of pre-workout. I've been trying to not take pre-workout at all during this but just I needed something to perk me up and half a scoop is basically nothing. So we will go to work, get in the eight hours and go from there. It also doesn't help sitting at a desk all day. And for some reason, our office has been very warm this week. I think it's just because it's warmer outside and the building's not keeping up. So it's been warm. So like even if I was on my top, like top of my game, I feel like I would be sleepy at work at two in the afternoon because it's just too warm in there. So we might be <laughs> struggling today, but we will get through it. We only have, yeah, I'll take my fourth dose this afternoon and then my last dose will be tomorrow afternoon and then it'll be Friday and then I can recover some sleep this weekend, fingers crossed. It is Friday. I am working from home, as you can tell. I never get sick of that view. So yesterday was my last day on letrozole, and excuse the hair, this is the work from home vibe. Um, last day of letrozole was yesterday. So the first night woke up at 3 a.m., second night woke up at 3 a.m., third night woke up at like midnight, and then like a bunch of times after that. Fourth night I woke up at 3 a.m., Last night, I finally slept. On my way home from work last night, I was exhausted and I slept good last night. So we are past letrozole. Now it's time to, we'll have specific days where we'll try and make things work. Blood work later on this month. And then yeah, sometime in the new year, we will know whether this cycle was successful or not. Don't have super high hopes, just kind of gonna Enjoy the Christmas season and it'll be what it will be. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you've not subscribed. And until next time, remember, it's always a good day to ride.